We're live from BMO Field tonight on KSMO as Sporting Kansas City contest in their final road game. Free starts. He hears he's back. He's obviously back in, in Canada where he was born just down the street in Hamilton. And uh, now he's a U.S. international, not a Canadian international, which is what did very different to what he was here last season. It's the back line. Nara Sakura comes into play there. Obviously, Adrian Kant, the team MVP from last season, was out with an ACL injury. So Once again on the road. Well, we nearly were, weren't we? <laughs> The referee spots something wrong. Here we go again. Sporting on the road for the final time in this horrible, repulsive 10 game road stretch. Can they end it on a high? Here's Aurelian Colin, one of the key figures in this Sporting KC side. Ball forward nearly found Heel Bunbury. It's a handball straight away. And a free kick in the way of Sporting KC. Smith trying to find space. Zusi. Here's Myers down the right hand side. Decent ball in across the face of goal. And decent defending there from, the total, from Nana Atakura. Atakura read that well there, Cal, because obviously they, they, they had an overlap down the right hand side. That's what it talks about. Jao Plata has to get back and help Bowman his left back there because there's an overlap. If Chance Myers is going to make those runs, Plata's got to go with him. Another corner for Sporting. Good job marking Aurelian Colin. Smith plays the ball in. Rocasa with the effort. A looping header from the Englishman wide of the right hand post. It's a good idea. They've been trying to work that ball into the box as Costa Ronto. I've seen a couple of pro problems early on already in this game. And uh, as you can see there, Harden got beat to the ball and so did Sturgis. So I can see them going to be trying to ping those balls high into the box and just short of fry to cause those defenders problems as the games go on. Tries to find a spectacular. Here's Martina, pushing Toronto FC forward. Chani, Eckersley on the overlap. Chani goes over to the left-hand side. Platter. The Ecuadorian twists and turns. Fights at half a yard. Goes wide on the right-hand post. Kronberg had it covered. Pretty soft get, uh, opportunity for Sporting to concede there. You can see Graham Zuzi really having a go uh, at his midfielder, Ryan Smith, there for the, for the lack of outlet. Zuzi had made a run down the right-hand side prior to that moment. And uh, obviously, Jao Flatter took advantage of that. A decent effort. I think the uh, Kronberg had it going all the way, going wide. But Put the ball into the box. It may be for Mike on Santos. Beasley doing super. Doing really well, Matt Beasley there to poke away the challenge. And that was an undoubtedly really good opportunity for Toronto FC. Outstanding chance. I mean, that's the first time Martinez really got to the, to the line line with his right foot to be able to cross that ball. And you could, you could see. Plata really take away one of the defenders and a fantastic tackle by Biza. Santos was through on goal. Santos with the ball inside. Chani finds a gap somehow. Martina twists and turns. This is Javier Martina. Super challenge from Michael Harrington, preventing the imminent threat from Martina. Not the first time we've seen Harrington go to the floor and, and win the ball with commanding presence there. And to do that in the box these days is very difficult, you know, for a defender to do that. You must win the ball if you're going to do that in the box because it's an immediate penalty. So another fantastic challenge from the left back. Finds Bunbury on the edge of the penalty area. Twist and turns. This is Seal Bunbury with the effort. Good save from the goalkeeper. Moves still alive though. Ryan Smith down the right hand side. Into Myers who miss kicks the ball. That was the chance that Sporting have so desperately craved. What can Toronto FC do here? Super challenge from Davey Arno. Stop Toronto FC from breaking. Burnbury's looking lively. He pulled Sturgis again out of position and Harden looked very nervous with the run from Harrington down the way to the left. Smith with his pace. Forward as well. Clears away for Toronto FC. Zusi plays the ball in nearly over the head of the goalkeeper. That will be a corner to Sporting KC. It's the right idea. Obviously, it's the, it, it tried the third time lucky there because the, the past two free kicks in a very similar area were put in the danger area into the box. This time, he's, he decides to go long, tries to catch Stefan Fry off his line because Fry was aware in the last two free kicks that he's had to come deep to get the ball. Here's Myers. Pings the ball over to the left for Smith. Does well to evade the challenge. Zussi tries to return the ball, Smith lurking again. It's cleared away by Toronto FC. 
Wiesler. Diop will come on for another US Bank substitution. Ball played in Smith with the header. The inches over the bar from Ryan Smith. That arguably the best chance of the half. It's a great opportunity. I mean, Gargan is, is caught asleep here. You can see that the time that he's got on the ball, he doesn't get close enough to him. It's a fantastic opportunity, really. He's Here's Diop. Smith with the ball over to the right hand side. Omar Bravo plays the ball in back, re lurking. Goalkeeper does well. Spills the initial effort, but smothers well on the second attempt. It isn't a loss, is it? Away from home? No. But ball played forward. And a header! Superly saved by the goalkeeper. Kronberg, who was congratulated. And also has a word in the Raylian Colin, but a good save from Kronberg. We don't often see that anymore, the goalkeeper holding onto the ball. No, it's a fantastic save, and the substitute almost the hero there. Daniel Henry just came on with a header, and he almost put it on. It was a winning header at the right at the end, but... Here's Sassano. Taken down, referee gives nothing. Omar Bravo, Bravo was wide open just 30 seconds before that, and Smith failed to find him. He was wide open, he made the run. Borman was lacking in the marking. It was a real opportunity, and once again, they didn't find him. Here's Santos. Santos with the effort, wide on the left-hand post, and there we have the final whistle.